Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I am going to make an arrangement with some flowers that I went out and cut. Um, so last week I did a video over on Facebook um, where I went and cut Queen Anne's lace and clover. And so I had several people interested. I did a big arrangement with the Queen Anne's lace, but I didn't get around to making an arrangement with the clover. So I went out this morning and I cut more clover and I thought we would do a video today using clover. Now, um, again, this video, we're going to use all material that I went out and cut. So this, this arrangement is not going to cost me anything in materials, in floral um, materials. Now, I, here at our flower shop, I collect some milk glass, and so I thought that this would be a pretty little arrangement, a little container to make an arrangement in. I think I picked it up at a thrift store um, for just a few dollars. Now, what I've done is I have taken about um, a fourth of a piece of fresh floral foam. I cut it and I just dropped it right down into my container and I filled the reservoir with fresh water. Now, when using fresh floral foam, you always want to soak that foam first. It's very important that you place the foam in water and just let it soak it on it, let it soak the water on its own. Um, I placed it down in this container. Now you can absolutely tape this foam down. Today this arrangement's just going to my house and I'm going to enjoy it at home. So I did, I'm not going to tape down the foam, but you can certainly use like a clear tape to tape down the foam. Now the foliage I chose and I cut it out of the yard here at the shop is Nandina. Now Nandina in Mississippi grows as a shrub and it is a wonderful foliage to use in your floral arrangements. So, um, if you have any shrubs out in your yard, I want you to go out and cut some of the greenery. I want you to put it into a vase of water and see if that greenery will hold up. Um, because if the foliage you have in your yard holds up, that means you don't have to cut, you don't have to purchase foliage. Um, now, of course, here at the shop, we purchase a whole lot of foliage, but it's always fun to be able to go and cut foliage that didn't cost you any money. So I took my Nandina and I cut it into small pieces. So I'm actually gonna use my little floral knife and cut the end off of that Nandina. I'm just taking this and I am tucking it right into that fresh floral foam. Now, I like the texture of Nandina. It's such a pretty texture to me. And the wonderful thing is, is it stays pretty most of the year. Um, it'll stay pretty all the way through the fall. And so once the cold hits, it will start to turn color. It will have a little bit of a red color to it. But I really like Nandina. And I have found that it does beautifully in flower arrangements. We've had no issues with it holding up. So I'm just taking my Nandina and I cut that um, stem at an angle and I'm just tucking it right down into my floral foam. Again, if you don't have Nandina, go out and pick foliage. Just test it. See if it'll hold up. If it does, go ahead and use it in your floral, floral arrangements. You'll find that you really enjoy harvesting um, your own materials. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding this Nandina to my container. I'm just greening out my foam. Whoops, I just dropped a little piece on the floor. Pick that up. Now, when I was out harvesting Queen Anne's lace, I noticed that we had this pretty lavender colored um, clover blooming. Now here in Mississippi, very often you will find when you ride um, down the road um, on the highway, you'll see red clover blooming. Um, and it's almost a beautiful ruby red. But I was actually out and saw this purple, this pretty lavender purple um, blooming on my family's land. So I thought I would cut it. It has held up beautifully in water, so I thought, let's make a pretty arrangement. 
Now some of the balloons aren't lovely, so I won't use the ones that are spent. But the wonderful part about this clover is it's pretty long stems. You'll see that, if I can get it loose, that these stems are pretty long. So really guys, all I'm going to do is cut these stems at an angle and I am just going to cut, tuck this clover. We're just going to do an arrangement of all of this purple lavender colored clover. Very simple, but very pretty. And any of the blooms that don't look pretty, just don't put them in. Now the ruby red clover that I was telling you about, it does not have this long of stems. The stems are really pretty short, so I've never been able to use it in floral arrangements. And I was really very excited to be able to use this lavender color. So I'm just taking each little stem, I'm cutting it at an angle, and I'm just tucking it right into this floral foam. Now what's interesting is some of the little heads are, their little stems are um, kind of bent, but I think that gives a little interest to this arrangement. So I'm gonna go ahead and use them. And if there are any blooms that have been, that are spent, I go ahead and, and cut those off and throw those away. There's just something about an arrangement when it's made with all of the same flowers to me. I don't know, it just really seems to make a statement when you use just a good handful of all the same flowers. So with each bloom, I am just taking it, cutting it at an angle, sticking it right into that fresh floral foam. Now one way to ensure that your flowers are going to last when you use fresh floral foam is you want to check your arrangement every single day. You want to, like with this container, I will just set it right over into my sink and I will fill that sink with, um, I will fill that container with water. What happens is quite often when we use fresh floral foam, we're using it in a container that you can't see the water line. And when you can't see the water line, you forget to water it. And so it's very important that each day you add water to that container to make sure that it has plenty of water. Another thing is when you're harvesting flowers, as I harvested these, you're going to want to cut your flowers in the morning. And that's if you've grown them in your yard or if you're cutting them on the side of the road. If you will harvest your flowers early in the morning, your flowers are much more likely to hold up and to stay fresher longer. And the reason is, is because when we go out, say if we went out during the day, in the afternoon after lunch, um, it has, the day has started to really get hot. And so it's starting to take a toll on the flowers because they're having to work harder to stay hydrated and all the things. And so if you go out and cut them in the middle of the day, it's going to be hard for them to recoup. It's hard for them to get well hydrated. But if you cut them early in the morning, They've had all night to rehydrate. With the dew and the cool weather, they've had plenty of time to rehydrate and they're ready to be cut in the morning. So no matter what you're cutting, be it foliage or fresh flowers, you're gonna want to harvest those in the morning hours and you will find that your flowers are gonna be happier and they're gonna last longer for you. So you can see I'm just taking these blooms and I'm just filling up this container with this pretty clover. Now I'm not exactly sure how long this will last. I will tell you that the clover in water, I mean it's it faded over time which was very interesting. I came in from the weekend and we had it in a bucket of water and it actually had never gone in the cooler. And I'm going to show you in just a second, I'll show you the difference between this clover and the clover I cut last week. Um, but the flowers faded. It was very interesting. And honestly, I've never seen that before. I've never seen the flowers color fade. 
I thought that was neat. But it all held up pretty well. Now, of course, there were spent blooms, but they were spent when I, when I cut them because it's hard to, um, you know, sometimes you've got several blooms on a stem. So when I'm just out there cutting, I'll just make sure I cut plenty. But you can see I'm just kind of making just a wildflower arrangement. And you can keep adding until you're happy. With this, there's really no right or wrong way to arrange these blooms in this vase. Um, I'm just doing kind of just a very wildflower look. Hey Owen, will you hand me that bucket there of, of the, that clover? I wanted to show them the difference between last week's clover and this week's clover. Thank you. So I wanted to show you these blooms. They have certainly aged. But look at the difference in this color. So this is a much lighter color than this one. It's very interesting at how the color changed over time. Um, but yes, over time, I think, I can't even remember. I think I cut these last Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and so they've been in water for days now and they were never in the cooler. And really the only thing that happened was the color faded. It's very interesting. But they definitely hold up in water. All right. Let me clean up my space. And there you have it. There is our little very simple wildflower arrangement. Again, I just went out and harvested the foliage and cut the clover um, and just made an arrangement with, with weeds, basically. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, thank you for always being willing to watch our videos and to comment and, and tell us what you think. We appreciate that so very much. If you have questions about what we do here at our flower shop, please don't hesitate to ask those questions down below in the comments. We are so happy to answer it. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check us out over on Facebook. We do videos there every day. Have a great day, guys.